Okay, so we're going to start with a quick plan um, for your English Lit Paper 1. Remember, you have an hour and a half. If you get extra time, you're going to have about an hour and 50 minutes. So you'll have 45 minutes on each question or 55 minutes on each question. If you want to spend five minutes planning, um, your first question will be on Romeo and Juliet. And you'll be given an extract. Um, and you'll have to write two P paragraphs about that extract and two P paragraphs about another part of the play that relates to whatever question you're given. So the first thing that you want to do is you look at the question and you want to think about where this extract occurs in the play. So even if, um, which I'm sure this won't be the case, you won't remember everything about Romeo and Juliet. This is Act 3, Scene 1. So we know this is the climatic scene. Um, in which Mercutio dies and Tybalt dies. Uh, and this is right in the middle of the play because there are five acts, so that should be fairly easy to remember. What else do we know? So if we think about the key events, this is after Romeo and Juliet's wedding, but before the deaths of Tybalt, Mercutio, Romeo and Juliet. So this is sort of the highest moment in tension and this is where a lot of the violence takes place. So you then set sort of where the scene occurs within the play. You want to then look at the question and you do this whether it's language, whether it's lit, because you must answer the question. Okay, that's A01, you must answer the question. So starting with this extract, and you know that, consider how Shakespeare presents hatred and conflict in the play. Uh, write about how Shakespeare presents hatred and conflict in this extract, how Shakespeare presents hatred and conflict in the play as a whole. Okay, so a couple of things. First of all, how we know that that's a method. That can be language, or structure, so that's AO2. The question itself represents both AO1 and AO3, because these themes relate to context. Please keep in mind that Shakespeare is spelled right there, so there's no need for you to spell it incorrectly, and that it is a play, not a novel. So you want to make sure that you're referring to it as a play. The next thing you want to consider is that you're, you're talking about hatred and conflict in this extract and elsewhere. So you can immediately think about what quotations can I remember from elsewhere in the play that relate to hatred and conflict. Peace. I hate the word as I hate hell, all Montagues and thee, which is of course Tybalt, Act 1, Scene 1. We can talk about Act 1. Scene five, fetch me my rapier, which is also Tybalt. Um, you can refer to the fight in Act One, Scene One, but remember that you want to hold on to sort of key quotations. Um, Heaven finds means to kill our joys um, in Act 5, Scene 3, which is the prince, and he's talking about punishment, okay? So, and you're just sort of generating what you can remember. Uh, you could talk about um, the suicide scene as well. So you're generating key quotations. Then you're going to go back through and you're going to annotate at least two that then relate to hatred and conflict um, in the extract. Okay? Um, so right away, the hate I bear thee can afford no better term than this. Thou art a villain. So 
So we've got the use of that abstract noun and the insult, uh, but we also see that Tybalt is still being respectful by using thou. And then juxtaposed with that, because we've got the characters of Tybalt and Romeo, you've got Romeo saying, the reason that I have to love thee, and again, still respectful, um, and in this instance, it's used as a verb, okay, love. So what you've got then, I can start linking that to some of my gold ideas as well. So I've got the binary opposition of love and hate, and how perhaps Tybalt represents hate, and remember he acts as a catalyst by creating conflict, whereas Romeo represents perhaps love. So I've got one of my gold ideas in there already. Um, then I'm moving down to Mercutio. Oh, calm, dishonorable, vile submission. So I've got a triplet of adjectives. Um, the exclamatory that shows Mercutio's shock. And he is shocked because of the way that Romeo is responding to Tybalt and refusing to fight. So I can link this idea to patriarchal rule and the ideal man. So you want to make sure you're weaving in your gold ideas throughout.